Welcome to Anthropology by the Wire 2013, the third iteration of the National Science Foundation funded research experience for undergraduates located at Towson University. By harnessing the power of visual anthropology and social media, Anthropology by the Wire seeks to accurately represent specific communities in Baltimore, a city that has become extremely divided. As once strong and tight-knit communities begin to fade due to gentrification efforts and deindustrialization, it is important to remember that their stories are worth just as much as those from the people often in roles of power. Therein lies the goal of this project, to document and archive the voices of those less heard and misrepresented in the public image. In the mid-1970s, a shift in the economy arose, often described as post-Fordism, with a newfound emphasis on flexible accumulation. In the emerging service economy, industries take a more passive role, allowing for less rigidity and centralization and a greater distance between production, management, and distribution. The collapse of industries which provided jobs for the community left the area in disarray. With the decrease in cash flow to local neighborhoods within the city, institutions began to crumble. Steel dramatically flowing from the open hearth furnace for processing into many forms and products today is an indispensable material in the... In the late 1900s in Baltimore, there was a shift from a blue-collar to white-collar economy. In 2012, one of Baltimore's most pivotal institutions shut down permanently. The steel mill at Sparrows Point came to a halt, and at once, vast amounts of community members found themselves unemployed. On June 24th, we convened at the Union Hall in Dundalk, Maryland, to hear some of the stories from workers who had been laid off. I worked at the steel mill shy of 10 years. Oh, it would have been two months shy, almost. Uh, it was almost 45 years. It was 44 years and eight months, something like that. I mean, that was his life for 17 years. Um, it was his father's life, his grandfather's life, it's all he's known. We just kept getting sold, bought, sold, bought. I don't think anybody ever really anticipated that it was ever going to end. I mean, you always thought about it and you try to prepare, well, some people try to prepare for it, but I don't think anybody really believed that it was, it was done done. I, I can tell you that financially it's been hard. It's been really hard. Um, I mean, we're not, everybody thinks, oh, steel workers, they have, you know, this money they've, they've made, but you, um, we, we have four kids, we live in a row home, we're just your average Joe, living paycheck to paycheck. And it, it, it's, it's hard, it's very hard. Um, I feel betrayed by the company, you know. It's just for the fact that I feel like they, they, they just they didn't care. To a certain extent, I think a lot of us always felt like they were blaming the employees for what was happening. And really, no. I mean, there was a lot of us that, as one of them would say, you know, we put on roller skates, basically, do different jobs that we, we never did before. You know what I mean? Everything's getting outsourced and going to other countries. And I understand that you have to make your money, but I think we're losing sight of what is happening in our own country. We're losing all these jobs. and. Where are the people going to go? I didn't like some of the things that management did. Though. They were either looking for profits or something like that. Or in some cases, it seemed like you know, the, this, they wanted to get do enough to get by so they can sell it off for a profit to somebody else. It's, it's like they used up all the resources. I honestly, in my heart, I feel that they knew what they were going to do. I, honest to God, feel that they came in and they said, hmm, well, let's use up the resources and make a quick buck. And then we're just going to drop them. And that's how I feel. At one point, uh, the ones that owned uh, Sparrows Point also had, was joint venture with one down there. So, I think different ones of us felt that they were taking some of the profits that they could have put in to the plan here, 
and we're spending it down there <laughs> to make it better because the labor costs were cheaper. It was non-union, things like that. Baltimore is becoming a place where um, there's not very many businesses that can, in, industrial businesses, um, there's not very many manufacturing jobs. Um, it's almost as if we're being forced into uh, um, a state of poverty and joblessness. I mean, I don't know if that makes sense, but it just, that's the way it feels. It feels like that we're, that, that it's being run out. As for a global economy, the United States really needs to do some revamping on some some rules, and I think we really we better because if we don't, we're going to become a poor nation and a nation that is reliant on government handout, and the government can only hand out so much um, without people working to provide for it. So. The purpose was so much more to me when it was over, and I hate to say that because. I think I would have enjoyed it a lot more if I would have put that in my forethought, you know what I mean? But it was like, looking back on it, I don't know how much more American you can get, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah, hell yeah, I, I was doing it for my country, you know what I mean? And as for the American dream, my husband's grandfather was German Italian you know um, and he came to work at the steel mill and suddenly he had status and suddenly he's making money and he's able to provide for his family and his father went right into it and um, it gave it gave immigrants and lower class people poor class I don't know how you want to word it um, something to strive for, and and it bettered their family, and it bettered their living, and and they were proud, you know, proud, and it's sad. It is. It's very sad. It's a very sad situation. I I honestly can say I don't foresee another um, industry like that um, happening in this area again, unfortunately. Um,